one and all, I am Goran50. I now release version 2.0. It shall be in the description the new version and the up and the updated Ouija, you know, the Ouija video I made. I pretty much changed the link there too to the new version. So say goodbye to the old one. Ouija fan, being the Ouija that he is, let the princess get taken away. Now he must rescue her so he can get laid tonight. So hurry! House of Yoshi. This is my first ROM hack attempt. You can read it for yourselves. I will not be hitting message blocks throughout this pl Let's Play. Alright. I like to say that. For those who didn't know, if you press up, you can go to the extra level. In version 2, I made an extra level here. Normally when you go into this level, you go in here, this time there's a door, which will take you to the extra level. I kept this place only because, you know, only because for those who, who enjoyed doing the whole Koopa thing with the one-ups and such. I'm not going to update this, but I want to everyone to know that I at least got in over 70 one-ups. So that's so that's 75 total right now, you know, excluding the 5 I already have. So, good luck anyone who wants to beat me. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, now to start the actual game, the green path. The first level, not much, there's some changed on this level, I made some changes, not a lot though. The annoy faces, I just thought it'd be funny, that's supposed to be a lemon. I changed that like that only so you don't glitch out and fall to the other side and die. Yes, it is indeed true that you can actually glitch this, like Danny did, like this. It's a, it's a wall glitch that I told her about. Reason why she did it, because... Oh, you can still get to die. Well, that's humorous. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna fix it, though. But yeah, you can glitch this like Danny did. The trick is kind of like doing this. And you get the shell stuck like that. And you can just go over like that. And... That's how you break my game right here. Alright, now on to how you're supposed to do it. Alright, you grab a shell. You can probably do one like this. That's me without doing running speed, but... It is really recommended you run and do it, because it's a lot easier that way. The way I did it is, the, is a harder way. The blood bills in this game are black, like that as you can see and here we have another wall jump or a glitch jump like that so it's up to you how you want to do it quick shell jump right here like that that's the very common one you can just stand throw it and do this S jump throw it do this you move slightly forward to make sure you hit that shell but that's how you do it also I want to show you the 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 rare chances, the chances of him killing you is. Hold on a second, let me try this. There we go. He will randomly kill you. You cannot do anything about it unless you can like use the shell that I just used to um, kill him. I put blocks here so you can't cheat and go over. But there's still ways to cheat this game that you don't even know about. For anyone who gets confused, this is what you're supposed to do. By doing this, it can go higher like that. And you can get that, even though I didn't really need to. Crap. There we go. And like I said, I'm not hitting those, so... <clears throat> now... I put a bunch of these so you can't get up there. Can't, I meant. There's still a way to get up there, though. Those who, who are watching this video specifically, tell me. Those who played the actual hack, how many of you have actually gotten that moon? It's very possible, but it's tricky. 
I'm not telling you right now, if somehow you manage to pull it off with the second bullet bill that used to be here, you're not going to be able to anymore. But those who, those who actually achieved it, you know, explain your process and or just say yes or no if you actually got the moon before. Bullet bills <clears throat> always made Mario, well, Ouija, kind of like invisible. And also, for those who are confused, the, the fire flower is a habanero pepper, which we're trying to get Valis to eat. You know, a habanero pepper for his let's eat. I am aware that it's glitching, but I promise you that that you know, kind of like half, like 50. There's a 50% chance it glitches and doesn't glitch. Sorry, but I really do suck at at map editing, so please excuse the glitches. And yes, I am very aware of it, and I still haven't fixed it. I know. I'm too lazy. I didn't work with the over map, but I worked on there, like everything else other than that. Some more than others, but, you know, like I said, I only made very minor changes, not very many. I also changed the sound of that because that sound right there is what I wanted for the P-Switch last time. But, you know, since, since, you know... I didn't know how to implement it back then, but now I do, so I did. It's very possible to outrun these and make it over there without having to wait here and then like do a spin jump and then for to let those three pass you. It is very possible. But if you have a mushroom, you can just do what I did right there and just pass that hard part. You move this way, you hit that, you get these, which you do indeed need all of them. Reason why I did this fast is so I can save a P switch and then hit another one like this. If you hurry fast enough, you can make it so you don't have to, you know, you don't have to go through those spiky things again. And you have to, and you have to grab two items, which I've, you've seen me do dozens of times. You just have to keep like, you know, put, placing them next to each other and then run up and get grab them like that. And then we go here. Let me go over this way. Yes, there is a death trap down there. Also, how many people have fallen for it? I want to know. Alright, we're going up now. It is possible to take the P-Switch with you. I could have done it right there, but I chose not to. Two springs. Up there, there is absolutely nothing. I promise you, there's absolutely nothing up there. You can go up there and look for yourself, but there's nothing up there. And there is indeed little springs here, just in case you got confused. But pretty much, this is how you do it. Then you go down here, you hit that. This is a part everyone hates. The first one... The easiest way I do it is I jump while still running and holding the run button and then I let go of the jump button slightly to maneuver my jumps. Which is why I did that. Reason why I did this hack too is also to help some some people with some glitches. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna do the well, let's see. Eh, I'm gonna stop the video here. Next time we'll do Bramble Volition. And yeah, that pretty much covers this video. Till next one.